So I'm super excited to share with you something from 30 to 80 yards, a nemesis distance from most people. It's not a chip shot, it's not a full swing. How do you play it? I've just had a little session with Alistair and he showed me something that I have never experienced before and it's absolutely brilliant. The consistency of my strike and my distance control at the end of this pitching lesson was unbelievable. So you're gonna absolutely love it. Let's get stuck in and Alistair, Let's, uh, let's show, show the audience how this works. So one of the issues that I sometimes find with my own pitching now and again, I see it really amplified with amateur golfers, is a, basically a desire to almost drive the handle forward, okay? And it does a couple of things. It gets the leading edge sometimes stuck into the ground, but you've really lost all control of the club and it can create almost this yippy style nervous effect, can't it? Yeah. But you've given me something um, that ultimately is absolutely amazing at really helping the feel of stopping that almost instantly, haven't you? Yeah. Can you can you explain the audience? Um, I can, yeah. So 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 if you look at your lead arm, and the lead arm is, is usually a bit of a problem when it comes to that, either a, you know, a drag and leaving the face open so you get a weak strike right, or you know, you end up then turning it down and getting the drive yep. so the ball comes out too hot. So what is the outcome for, for somebody who's pitching from here? Before we jump into the drill, what, is, what should it look like? You know, for the audience watching, what should it look like first through impact? Okay, what should so, the club be doing? Yeah, again, we don't want that club getting away from the... So the butt's travelling too far from, from, from the body, yeah. Yep. And really, if, 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 we, if we can allow the arm to stay with the body and the butt end to stay in, in with the body and move around on the arc, that's great. So if I was just to show you in simple terms with my arm, yep. uh, well, I can keep my arms in this pushed out position. You know, uh, what I notice, as I say, is the arm sits this way and pulls. And the you know the inside seam of the elbow you know it's going this way away yep. from the body and this face is backwards yep. and, and really we want to feel like the inside part of the elbow is moving around the body that way so so what you explained to me just off camera which is amazing if you go back to there now what you explained to me it's almost like there's a an arrow and and this this bit here is you you really push this this way didn't you inwards yeah. so it's almost like the, this part is rotated like that yeah. that so, way so 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 that gets your shoulder pulled back into position yep. your bicep is internal and then this feels external yeah. here. So then you've got your spiraled arm. Yeah. And then from there, as you move that around, well then that moves in harmony with the body and it gets you into this locked out position around the corner here. So to put, if I'm popping in for a second, um, I just kind of go through what you've been going with me. So you said from here, which is absolutely amazing. So my arm here, when it was coming through, was way too much this way, wasn't it? Yeah. So it was coming through and it's driving this way. Yeah, and then, you know, if you think about that on the backswing, that would get the club too far behind you Which it does well. sometimes, right? yeah. So it's back in here. Definitely, because I'm rotating then, this way. Your arm is going to move in that line, that yeah. direction, and then you're going to struggle to square and get any pressure on the hit without yeah. manipulating the hit. Yeah, I mean, potentially fast you have to, you have, Yeah, you have to go for it, right? So 100%. So by, in a sense, you, you also judge about, you know, almost like, waxing almost like mr miyagi wax on or wax off isn't it you're you're, you're cleaning the windows you know, so, so this isn't really moving much it's just like you're doing it through the shoulder and arm and and, and that motion will, so, will get set so the sensation here you mentioned is like from here rather than me going this way i'm almost going i'm just turning this elbow and as i'm turning this elbow inwards it's just amazing really pushing it inwards towards my body here that's kind of a locking this shoulder in yeah lock and, it down yeah and almost from there i just can't drive it's kind of from here it naturally wants to yeah turn through absolutely but there's a second thing wasn't there you said like ultimately which was brilliant was not only is it turned inwards here i'm also turning it around so this left elbow when it's finishing is really sitting downwards yeah versus when i was driving it was much more yeah and again that's not going to sit that's not going to you know that this will sit pointing down it'll sit pointing down you know over your hip here i really love that yeah. i really love it yeah so do you want to do you want to demonstrate um what they what a golfer does to fat it and thin it and then compare the two differences between the two i i struggle to demonstrate bad shots because i need to do them good <laughs> but, i love it but but uh, uh if if i'm going this way again my body and my side bends all these things that are incorrect and bad for the back are going to place your low point in inconsistent position yeah. and again you're fighting to hit the shot from there yeah. and then you're either going to quicken it too much and shoot it or you're going to miss hit it miss strike it but that's miss striking is the worst isn't it yeah. it's the, the heavy shots and the thin shots that yeah. just you know <laughs> that's what makes you go to the bar after golf <laughs> right so um if you if you get this arm position okay if you get that arm position and again you can just rehearse it just a few times and again you're just feeling that you're you know let me see as if you're putting your hand on a table like that and just locking that out and just take it around with you 
it's dead simple and then from there you know feel what it's like to get that on a golf club and have that sitting out and you just work on a little bit of backswing and you just take that around with you but i'm never allowing the outside here to go that way yeah i see that way. such a great it's visual just, i feel like i feel like that is always the arrow is always staying here see there's and no then that, that yeah. keeps it that sorry yeah. that, that just keeps that just keeps the club out there I doesn't it? it but as soon as that starts to go that way then all this all these problems arise love it absolutely that, 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 that holds its place so your your lead arm can help you a lot and you keep pushing that out and then again you know you can start to see how that works left and up and and that, when you're finishing that left arm is beautifully sitting down yeah so, so i do a lot of one-handed shots practicing yeah because of that as well yeah and then when you throw on the right hand it's just there for helping them yeah energy. brilliant yeah. absolutely love that like i said alice i've never heard anyone explain it like that before do you want to hit a couple why not just to give it a go so all i'm going to do here is really feel like this is sitting in sitting the left shoulder in here not this and immediately it feels like the club's already going to take a better line here it's just because it can't get behind your hand can't get behind me no yeah. And then from here, I'm just... There you go, you're on tour. And that was against, that was against the grain. So that's against the grain, which is the, the, the real nightmare, yeah. isn't it? The well, you've got to catch ball first, haven't yeah, you? Otherwise yeah. you're done. But that, this, when you do this, you'll, you, your pickup doesn't matter whether you're into the grain or down grain or cross grain. This is going to give you a really good constant I think, like, like a lot of these things, when it's locked in like this, and this is locked in, it feels like nothing can go wrong. <laughs> exactly. That, basically. Yeah. And it forces the body to move. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's no other way now that my body's just going to simply rotate beautifully onto the shot, because that's all I have to do. And you, you, you actually tried to get underneath that a little I bit. I did, I did. You just, you, all you, you just stay to the left. You know, don't. Yeah, I think it's because yeah. You're, you're trying to get you're, yeah. You're trying to get that way. You don't I, need it. You you still got away with it. Yeah. But you, there was something in your mind was telling you to try and get underneath that ball, which you never need to do. You don't need to go backwards at all. Never, never go backwards. Always forwards. A little clean, but the clean. It's easy though. Go ahead, take it away, Danny. I'm just going to hold you here yep. and keep trying to stretch now all the way. Yeah, you feel the body load yep. now? Yeah, definitely. Okay, yep. so then your swing is a lot shorter now than it, than it was, So, but you're more loaded, yes. aren't you? Yeah, I feel so that. So the, then, you're, then you're actually using the ground, you're using the body, you're using your arm position much better. It just feels like I've got nowhere else to go now. Yeah, and you're less handsy. Yeah, that, yeah. that's exactly what it feels like, it's really less handsy. That's wonderful. Yeah, that felt absolutely fantastic. There you go, it stopped in a dime too, yeah. didn't it? So. It just doesn't, it, it kind of, it's one of those, it feels, when it's, it just, it just feels locked in. Locked in to the point at which I can't hit, and I'm sure I will, because it still feels a little bit strange, but it also feels locked, it feels like I, I can't hit a bad shot. Yeah. You know, whereas before, I think when it was out a little bit, those hands were just a bit. Well, you've got to remember, you've been working a lot, very hard on the right arm, haven't you? Yeah. So then there's two sides to this story. There is indeed. So get that, get that like Push it down. You get that matching up, really. That's all you're doing, is you're matching yeah. up your left arm to your right. Yeah. Come on, let's finish off with a couple more. And in terms of judging distance control with this, what would you do? Anything particular? Just, just get well, strike. I, honestly, I think that you're going to, you've got more of an instinct for distance now than you had five minutes ago. Yeah. You have to have. Because as soon as you get strike, I feel like you. You know how, how you, yeah. you, you can feel how hard you want to move it, right? Yeah. So you, you, you'll learn, you know, you can, you can move, you can get that position and you can move it softly. You can get that position, you can move it hard. Yeah. It's up to you, you know, and then you can develop your, your, your distance control. I, and I think that's just what I feel as well, because that feels I'm never going to hit a bad strike. Yeah. And the other thing as well, because it does feel completely locked in, what it also feels here is that... Do it one more time. Yep. You can do it more than that. You see, you, you, you still, weirdly, you, when you took that away, yep. you still allowed your elbow to move in a bit, right? Really? That, you did, actually. Just because you weren't thinking about it yet. Yeah. And it's, so it's, it's still a thought, right? It still has to be a Sitting conscious... Sitting it down there. It still has to be a conscious thought. Now you feel that in your shoulder, right? Yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> so that's that, the muscle in the shoulder is being pulled down to the ground there. There you go. There's a confidence to it, isn't there? It just feels easy. And then have a bit of play around with your legs. See if you can push, 
push off the ground a little bit better to finish the swing as well. So you're, so you're, gonna, you're gonna do what we drill in the full swing that we did, where you're gonna feel that you stack left and push. Some more. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's Start to get that drive off the ground, yeah? So that's when you can really control your distance. <clears throat> okay. So I'm really from here, so I've got this here, I'm rotating, and I really feel like I'm... Yeah, stretching up. Standing up, almost like a statue. Yep. Awesome. Oh, it felt different class. Look that's at the spin on that. <laughs> so that, yeah, that's, that's, that's so different. So you're giving your arm no choice to make a mistake. No. I think, you know what, with that one there, again, again, this is something I would, you know, just bringing the audience in on this one is that you have to be willing to mess up. Like one of the things I did there, when you said stand up, I actually thought I might thin it a little bit. But you know what, I thought, you know what, let's just go with it. I go with it and just trust the motion and, and it ends up being absolutely brilliant. It's just a feeling, isn't it? You've got to, you've got to be willing to cock up and mess up a few times to try and, try and get this. But to be fair, honestly, it feel, with this locked in here, it feels incredibly solid for some guaranteed strike but not just that from here just that standing up like a statue it almost feels like i'm letting gravity of the club there there you go work beautifully well it's falling down yeah yeah because i think about if, if one side's going up the other side's going down i got it <laughs> yeah no i love that i know but i think if i if you'd have asked me to uh, stand like a statue before before we'd done this i'd have probably stood up like yes this yeah Whereas having the other thing locked in here, the shoulder sitting back here, and now it's like I'm standing up and everything's following the arc of the Yeah, I like that, Danny. That's motion. a nice way to describe it. Really good. You know, mm -hmm. I really do. I feel like it's so, so simple. Finish off with a good one. Easy. It's all right, yeah, easy. Yeah. Look, do me a favor, go and check Alistair out. I actually think this was absolutely brilliant. Don't tell me that. It might even be slightly better than Pete's lesson. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really, really appreciate that. Look, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with one of your friends. You know he's struggling with their pitch shots around the green. This is so, so simple, you know. And look, I'll put a free download or practice guide in the description box below so you'll never have to remember a thing. But if you're new to the channel, you want to see more videos just like this every single week, remember to press that subscribe button and the bell. But until next week, have a wonderful golfing week. Thanks, Danny. Cool. That was awesome.